Remember Nina Jankowitz? The far left TikTok singing, disinformation spreading character from an Orwell novel who was given the head position of a so-called disinformation governance board. Fast forward a few months and now she's appearing on a show that can be canceled at any moment to just straight up lie and revise history. So the sympathetic view to you is that the disinformation board was the victim of disinformation. Is that how you feel? Oh, it absolutely was the, the victim of disinformation. So all of these narratives that the Disinformation Governance Board was going to be this or or Orwellian Ministry of Truth and all of the harassment uh, and, and disinformation that was directed against me was based on that falsehood. Based on that falsehood that was knowingly peddled by many people in the conservative media ecosystem. <laughs> I'm just glad she didn't start singing. The very fact that they put someone like Nita Jankowitz into that position makes it highly suspect from the very start. She's in a powerful position. Getting criticism from the public is not harassment. After all, this is a person who makes money writing books about how getting criticism online is an attack. You're going to want to see the rest of this clip, but first, a quick message from supportthesecond.com. The recent shootings, especially those in schools, is bringing about stricter gun reform bills. Congress has just passed the most significant gun reform bill we've seen in decades. But as we all know, bad guys will always have access to guns. Unfortunately for law-abiding citizens, the Second Amendment has never been more at risk of being infringed than this year. A new site is showing their support for the Second Amendment to create change, and you can get in on it too. The support the second coin usually retails for $24.95, but it's currently free for a limited time to bring awareness to the issues affecting gun owners today. This coin has beautiful engravings on both sides, with one side stating in bold text, the Second Amendment is my gun permit. Carry it in your pocket, in your gear, or in your vehicle as a reminder of the freedom we have. If you're proud to be an American and proud of your gun rights, you'll love this Second Amendment coin. Get your free Second Amendment coin today by going to www.supportthesecond.com. That's www.supportthesecond.com. Support gun owners, gun rights, and the Second Amendment. Based on that falsehood that was knowingly peddled by many people in the conservative media ecosystem. If that's true, if that's true, what the heck was the Homeland Security Department doing? Why didn't they defend you? Why didn't you defend yourself? Why didn't the government explain what the heck it was doing? Nobody defended her and she didn't defend herself because there was no defense. Well, so there's a lot of things uh, that to unpack in that. First, let's start with the idea um, that anybody would be someone that anybody on the political spectrum would uh, want to be policing speech. Again, at the kernel of that criticism, is the idea that this board would be policing speech, which it wasn't going to do. If that were the case, there would be no person nonpartisan enough, particularly in the counter disinformation sphere, who would uh, appeal to everyone in that in that role. She then erroneously claims that they wouldn't be policing speech. But during this NPR interview, she eventually gets around to saying, um, that's the sort of thing that we would have been supporting. And then I think another example that's important, that's also within the department's uh, portfolio, especially given the events of the past few weeks, um, is that disinformation plays a role in radicalizing people to violence. You know, we're seeing continued mass shootings here in the United States. And in many of those cases, violent extremism is begotten by things people see on the Internet. So that's the sort of thing that we would be looking to address. First, let's start with the idea um, that anybody would be someone that anybody on the political spectrum would uh, want to be policing speech. Again, at the kernel of that criticism is the idea that this board would be policing speech, which it wasn't going to do. So yes, they would be policing speech. She just cloaks it in quote, disinformation that radicalizes people. You mean like hands up, don't shoot? You mean like Jacob Blake and countless other police shootings that turned out to be justified, but still led to riots because the media withheld important details. I can keep going, but we all know that's not at all what she means. She means any speech by her political opponents that she can somehow rationalize to within a thousand degrees of separation is somehow connected to violent extremism. 
journalism. She can then police and censor that as disinformation. For instance, and I bet this is what she's thinking of, so-called replacement theory. Democrats and their media accuse the Republican Party of popularizing replacement theory, which they are doing right now. Republicans come back with videos, articles, and books showing that Democrats openly promote their belief that demographic shift, meaning that white people becoming a minority and the country being flooded with illegal immigration, will result in big political benefits for the party. Obviously believing that less white people and more brown immigrants equals more Democrat power. Nina then censors all of that as disinformation. Um, but I, you know, did not post disinformation. The folks that are honing in on tweets that I sent in 2016, right. uh, when I had fewer than a thousand Twitter followers, um, that, you know, I was just sharing information about a presidential election as it was happening, as millions of other Americans were doing, using their right to freedom of speech. Insolent peasant, why can't you understand that it's completely different when I do it? Because even though I spread completely false information from my position as an expert that could have swayed the election, when I do it, it's because I'm engaging in free speech, unlike my political opponents who attack me and our domestic enemies that spread disinformation to radicalize people. That wasn't disinformation, right? It was just sharing news. Wrong. It doesn't matter if you were just repeating news you heard. That news was disinformation. Disinformation that was meant to cover up factual news that could have swayed the election. I mean, Nina Jenkins even pushed that fake Alpha Bank Trump Russia story. In this tweet, she claimed a Biden intelligence community report included a quote, clear nod to the alleged Hunter Biden laptop. And as we now know, the Hunter Biden laptop is 100% real. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please smack that like button, share, subscribe, and leave a comment to vent your frustrations. Thanks a lot.